Laparoscopy provides a unique opportunity to view pelvic organ anatomy. During any laparoscopic surgery, inspection of the anterior abdominal wall is a prerequisite for safe insertion of the trocars. The important anatomic landmarks are the obliterated umbilical artery and the inferior epigastric artery. A palpating finger exposes these structures and precisely localizes the trocar entry site lateral to the vessels. Similarly, before inserting the right lower quadrant trocar, these structures are identified. The inferior epigastric artery is a branch of the external iliac artery, while the obliterated umbilical artery is a distal branch of the internal iliac artery. Insertion of the trocar lateral to the inferior epigastric artery will prevent traumatic injury to this vessel. The ureter is equally divided into abdominal and pelvic segments. In the abdomen, they run medial to the ovarian vessels. The left ureter is crossed anteriorly by the inferior mesenteric artery, the left colic artery, and the sigmoid colon. The highlighted area in this illustration demonstrates the relationship of the ovarian vessels with the abdominal ureter. In this segment, the left ureter runs medial to the ovarian vessels. The following illustration emphasizes the relationship of the left ureter to the left colic artery and the inferior mesenteric artery. The left ureter is crossed anteriorly by the